Our word of the day. Our word of the day comes from the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 40. That's Luke, chapter 12, verse 40. And it says, Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Amen. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not expect. Well, we know that this is truly talking about the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord truly wants us to be ready. Yesterday's sermon was talking about gardening and being planted and, and bringing in fruits and trees and begin, you know, preparing God's people for what's to come and for the coming of our Lord. And I think it all ties in the fact that we can see the destructions of this world. We can see the evil that's running rapid, like in the days of Noah, for sure. But God truly expects us all to be ready for his coming. We are here to do his work. We are here to listen for his voice and follow what he wants us to do. It's his will to be done, not our will. And I think once we truly understand that that's what this life is about, life becomes very, very much easier. We can go through the trials because we know that the battles are not ours, because we know the Lord is them. But we know when the Lord comes, he's going to take care of everything. In Luke 20, 34 to 36, it says, But take heed to yourself, that your heart be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life. And that day come on you unexpectedly. For it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. It will come on all. Watch, therefore, and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Amen. You know, I, I think this is this is truly about the judgment that's truly going to come upon this world. When did Jesus come? For those who are not following him and putting their trust in him, woe to them. It will not be good for them. There are those who don't believe in Christ, and that's okay. That's just how they feel, but they will when it's all said and done. There are those that don't believe in, in the things of the Lord, the promise of the Lord. But that's just pride because to do their own way and to, to have their own thoughts and, and not to follow the Lord is truly not a good thing. But for those of us who do have the faith and the trust and the belief in our Lord Jesus Christ. These things will not touch us. We will be ready and he, we will be prepared because God will prepare us. This is not things that we have to go out and start doing and, and preparing and getting ready. God was truly going to be prepared. But we do need to walk in his image and in his ways and listen for his voice and do as what he says. Because we can see the signs of the time. We can see the wars and the, and the pestilence and the earthquakes and the floods and all of these things that's been happening for months now. These are signs of the time. The Lord said that these things would happen. And if non-believers would open up the Bible and look inside, they would see that these things are not by accident. 
that these things have been foretold. And then they would try and prepare and get ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we are, we are all preparing ourselves for that day. Amen. In Matthew 24, verses 42 to 44, it says, Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour the Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Amen. That's a very true statement. If we know that if a person's going to break into our cars, or we would be ready for it. We'd be waiting for them. Or if someone's going to break into your house and steal your stuff, if you knew that time was coming, these are all for unforeseen things we cannot see and we do not know. But of course, if we did, we would truly be ready and we would be there and we would prevent it from happening. But God truly, this is the same as when the, the Son of Man, our Lord Jesus Christ, would come. No one will know. We will see the signs and wonders. It says, therefore, you also be ready for the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Praise the Lord. It's going to happen when we least expect it. This is when the son of man will come. So Jesus is truly telling us all today to just be ready for his coming. We keep saying he's coming soon. It's going to be soon. It may be soon. We do not know. And we will not expect it. But we should also be ready. Amen. In Mark 33, in Mark 13, verse 33, it says, Take heed, watch, and pray, for you do not know when the time is. Amen. This is how we prepare and get ready. We pray and we listen and we wait and we follow what the Lord wants us to do. Like I said, it's not something we have to go out and prepare for. God is truly going to prepare us all for the day of his coming. He will show us signs and wonders. He will guide us and lead us. Only he knows, and only God knows. So help us, Lord. Help us to be ready. Prepare us. Give us your strength and your love, your mercy and grace as we walk upon this earth and we see the darkness and the madness that's happening. We pray you draw this to you so they too can be ready for your coming. We all know that when you come, you're going to right all the wrongs. You're going to put everything and restore it back into its proper place. So I pray you bless my brothers and sisters today. Guide them and lead them and help them and prepare them. This is all about you preparing us. And we just give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all and have a wonderful day in the Lord.